My friends and I went to the store the other day. I didn't need their help, but they had nothing better to do, so they came along anyway. Arthur got there first, of course, and then we waited for Steve. Where is this guy? He's always late. You know him. He's probably getting high. Arthur stood there and shook his head. Finally, we heard somebody fumbling with the door. Yo, what's up, guys? Wow, so nice of you to get here in such a timely fashion. Arthur was always so dramatic. Come on, man, leave me alone. I've had a hard day. Are you okay? Yeah, but I lost something very important to me, and I feel bad, man. Are you talking about your bong that you left in my house last night? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Can we go now? Relax, man. Just let me smoke real quick. No, I've been waiting long enough. Let's go already. Dude, the store is open for like eight more hours, bro. We got plenty of time. I don't want to spend my whole day going to the store. I got things to do. This wasn't true. But Arthur is very impatient and hates wasting time. I just stood there and let those two argue about whatever, like always. And then Arthur came over to plead his case. This guy's a loser. Why do you hang out with him? We could be doing so much more if he wasn't around holding us down. I gave Arthur a disapproving look, but he might be right. I mean, Steve's a good guy. I've known him for years. I mean, it's so what that he smokes a lot of pot, you know? He's a cool guy. I like him. <coughs> <clears throat> All right, let's go, boys. We piled into my car and made our way to the store. Arthur took control of the radio and turned it to his favorite station. Well, the interesting thing about stamps is they were invented by the Egyptians. Welcome to NPR. We pulled in the parking lot and made our way into the store. Arthur stayed with me and Steve disappeared. I had a small list of things to get and I just went around and got everything in my cart, but no sign of Steve anywhere. So I finally got everything I needed, made another lap around the grocery store, and still no Steve to be found. So I paid for everything, and we started walking out, and I gave him a call um, uh, in the parking lot. <laughs> Yo, dude. What's up? Where are you? Oh, I'm walking home from the store. Why are you walking? Because uh, I don't have my car. Yeah, because I drove you, dude. You came with me. Oh, yeah, that's right. I wondered why I was at the grocery store. I just bought some ice cream and left. <laughs> but yeah, I'm on the side of the road if you want to come pick me up. I looked at Arthur. And I knew he was going to have a lot to say about this. Uh, we're just going to pick Steve up on the way. Well, where is he? I told you that guy was a loser. Well, what is it this time? He forgot that I drove and started walking home. Yeah, I know, but he's a nice guy, man. I guess. We found Steve along the side of the road and he hopped in. Wow. Thanks for getting me, guys. It's really hot out there. Just let it go, man. He just turned up the radio and was silent for the rest of the ride. <laughs>